from author Steve Cameron. One of the reasons that I'm going with Steve Cameron or Roger Craig is because Roger Craig saw and heard things that uh, were contrary to the official versions and he paid a price for it. I got to know him personally and I'll defend him until my death. But he was a good, honest man, a good, honest cop, and he told the truth. A Dallas Sheriff's Officer, Roger Craig, said Oswald was definitely the man he saw run from the Texas Book Depository building right after the assassination. He said that Oswald whistled at a man in a station wagon. The man stopped and the two drove away. As I was searching the south curb of Elm Street, there was a light green Rambler station wagon driving real slow west on Elm Street. And the driver was leaning over to his right, looking up had a man running down the grass, and he got in the station wagon, and they drove west on Elm Street. That afternoon, they took a suspect into custody, and I called Captain Fritz at his office and gave him a description of the man I saw get into the Rambler. He told me, it sounds like the suspect we have in custody. Come on up and take a look at him. We went into Captain Fritz's inner office. The man was sitting in a chair behind a desk. And Fritz turned to me and said, is this the man you saw? And I said, yes. And it was. So he turned to the suspect and he said, this man saw you leave. At which time the suspect leaned forward and put both hands up on the desk. And very disgustedly said, Everybody will know who I am now. Now, this was not a brag. I know it's been blown up to be a brag in the Warren Commission. This was not a brag. This was a man that had uh, uh, blown his cover. Or it, it wasn't a brag. The Deputy Interviews by Steve Cameron. Available.